In the last video of this series we added flying and in this one we'll add climbing. We want climbing to be slower than walking or flying, so let's add a new variable for it. And let's add a new climbing state to our state enum. On update, if the current state is climbing, we're gonna call the update movement climbing method. And climbing is gonna be a lot like flying, so let's just copy our flying method for now and rename it to climbing. In Blender we can make a plane, scale it a little bit, convert some edges to curves with the quick menu add-on, Spin the top edges to make the top part, tweak some proportions, and change its color. Now we just need to save it to our project's assets folder. You don't need to export to FBX because Unity does that for you. In Unity we can drag it into our scene, and we can add a box glider to it, and tweak its dimensions a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this letter into a new empty object by pressing Ctrl Shift G. And we're gonna add a box glider to it as well, and we're gonna mark it as trigger. You can press Shift H to isolate the selection to make it easier for you to resize this collider. And this is gonna be our trigger zone. When we touch this, we're gonna switch to the climbing state. So let's add a new script to this letter object. And in this script on trigger enter, we're gonna check if the other object has a player tag and if it has the player script on it. And if it does, we're gonna switch the state to climbing. And on trigger exit, we're gonna switch the state back to walking. And already it's kind of working, but sometimes when we exit the trigger, we go flying. And also the movement speed is a little bit too high now. That's because we're not using the climbing speed variable just yet. So let's go ahead and change the flying speed to climbing speed in our update movement climbing method. And to fix the issue with the velocity, let's create a new property called current state. And when we're changing the current state, it will also reset the velocity. The state field itself is going to be private, of course. And now we just need to go and change the state to current state everywhere in our code. Now the letter doesn't send us flying anymore, but the other problem is that we need to look way up if we want to go up. If we are looking in front of us, then the vertical velocity of the movement factor is going to be very small, and it will take ages for us to go up. So what we're going to do in our climbing method is first we're going to decrease the horizontal input a little bit, and then we're going to check if the vertical input is greater than some small value in any direction. And if it is, we're going to take its sign and multiply it by climbing speed. So basically, if we look up, we're going to go up with the full climbing speed. To visualize that, we can draw a red line if the snapping happens, and a yellow line if it doesn't. So as you can see, when we're looking straight, we're drawing a small yellow vector, so we can still go a little bit to the left and to the right. But as soon as we look a little bit up, we're starting to draw long red vectors. So now it's much easier for us to go up and to get off the ladder. Now, if we try to get off it midway by pressing S, then we're drawing a red diagonal vector in the opposite direction. And it just feels a little bit weird. What we can do instead is we can check if we're trying to move backwards by checking the dot product of transform forward and input normalized. And if it's greater than zero, it means that we're trying to move forward and we execute our usual logic in this case. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reset the vertical input completely and amplify the horizontal input. And in this case, let's draw a green vector. And now if you press S while on the letter, you'll see the green vector and it's very long, so it's very easy to get off the ladder. And now you can drag this letter onto the project panel to make a prefab out of it and have as many letters as you want in your game. 